surprise. Did you give me a cone? No, even better. Oh. How do you even afford these things? That's my dad. And this is his face when he realized that I just pranked him by making him the face of hemorrhoid billboards all over Los Angeles. But how exactly did we get here? And how do I afford these things? And that's because I managed to convince Preparation H to sponsor this prank. Yes, the hemorrhoid cream company. And if you're thinking, well, how the hell did that happen? You may remember this video I posted last year. Yep, that's my old man. And he suffers from terrible hemorrhoids. And I jokingly made this comment about getting a hemorrhoid billboard. But sure enough, it found its way to the Preparation H social media team. Because you know, it's 20 2022 and hemorrhoid cream companies have their own social media teams now and surprisingly they were all about it so long as we tried to make it somewhat educational so we decided to make this campaign run during that big trademarked football game that's coming up but the game was less than a month away so how was i gonna sneak high quality images of my dad wearing a football jersey in poses like this i don't know maybe rent a studio to stage an elaborate photo shoot with a major sports magazine to convince my dad we're gonna be featured in a segment about family rivalries yeah, that might work. But more on that brilliant idea later, because I want to finish this up by getting us back to where we started the video. A live look at my dad realizing he probably should have worn protection. Preparation H paid for it. Seriously? Yeah, they heard about your hemorrhoids. Well, instead, why don't you get them to pay for the four years of college I wasted? I made you the face of hemorrhoids. I feel like that's way better. <laughs> You're such an idiot. <laughs> Love you. Shout out to Preparation H for making this prank a reality, and of course my dad for being such a great sport, but the story's not done yet. Obviously, I owe him something nice now, so please help me make it up to him by liking and sharing this video around so we can actually end up getting him the real photo shoot that he deserves. Oh, and be sure to head to jakesfunny.com to learn more about how to take care of your tight end. So now I need to tell you about the lengths I went to just to get these photos of him. <laughs> because if you've been following my channel for a while, I know this isn't the first time I've put his face on a billboard, but this time I needed to find a way to get some better images of him because it was running as a Super Bowl campaign campaign with Preparation H. So as I was looking to my Jewish magic eight ball for an idea, I got a bit lucky because that very same day, a video of ours where I scared my dad with a life-size cutout of The Rock was reposted by SportsCenter and Sports Illustrated. So that's when the light bulb went off. And I immediately rented a photo studio to tell my dad the great and totally not made up news that ESPN Magazine wanted our picture in a Super Bowl segment about family rivalries. You don't need to comment about how horrible of a child I am because I'm well aware. But I hired my friend David, the real MVP, who posed as a photographer from ESPN Mag, playing the part right, brilliantly. Let's try some different poses. You said your son is a pain, right? Show me how much of a pain he is. A little bit more, a little bit more. That's how easy it's going for you? Come on. So once I had the photos, I hired an overnight graphic designer who didn't disappoint. But Preparation H said no to this design because they felt it was a little over the top or bottom. But as of Super Bowl Sunday, all these billboards are still up. You can find the locations on my Instagram and go Bengals. God, I hope that comment ages well.